Hello everyone, welcome again to our training for today. Ang pag-usapan natin ngayon ay about Kaiser International, the first name in healthcare. Okay? So, what is Kaiser? Just to give you a little background about this company, Kaiser is duly accredited with the Department of Health. Our company is likewise registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission on June 8, 2004 as a healthcare provider with an authorized capital stock of $160 million. Okay, so Kaiser International Health Group bilang HMO company, it caters to both corporate, group, family, and individual accounts with our various short-term plan packages that would suit your healthcare requirements. So actually, yung Kaiser ay nag offer siya ng meron siyang product for individual. So Kaiser Health Card for individual. Kaiser Health Card for Family, and then we also have Kaiser Health Card for Mini Group. So yung mga group na small group lang like 10 to 49 members, and then we also cater large group like 50 to 99 members. So that is Kaiser Health Card Group, okay? And then we also have Kaiser Health Card Group Corporate, okay? That is for 100 members and above. And also, we have senior care plan. So, mga seniors, no? Siyempre, yung mga seniors natin, kailangan din ng mga health card yan. So, kung hindi na sila napabilang dito sa mga uh, previous na minention ko ng mga uh, plan, ng health card plan, meron tayong talagang specialized for senior care. Okay? Senior care plan, we call that. And then, we have also daily health plan. Okay? Itong daily health plan, ito yung parang pambayad lang sa uh, room no room rates ng mga uh, plan holder pag sila ay nandun na sa hospital so we have a separate plan for that yung para pang uh, bayad lang sa room okay but now Kaiser International Health Group Inc is also offering a one of a kind HMO product okay so this is Ultimate Kaiser Health Builder. Wow, excited ako dito kasi I also have this plan. No? Meron din akong ganitong product. Now, gaano kaganda ang produkto na ito? Bakit ang dami-dami nating mga gustong kumuha ng Ultimate Kaiser Health Builder? Okay, so this plan is a 7-year paying period okay, and a 13-year waiting plan. So, ibig sabihin, magbabayad ka lang for 7 years. Pagkatapos mo magbayad, maghintay ka lang ng 13 years para makuha mo na yung lahat ng mga beneficyo na dapat mong makuha doon. Okay? Lahat ng mga ipon mo, mamaya ibabanggitin ko, isa-isa yun kung ano yung mga makukuha natin after waiting period. Okay? So, another. This is designed to provide healthcare beyond that of an HMO. Kasi, Familiar kayo sa mga HMO, yung mga health card na ino-offer sa atin ng company natin. Okay, di ba? Meron tayong annual check-up. Okay, meron tayong mga APE. Yan, kung hospital ka, magagamit mo din. So, meron ding dental benefits. So, pero itong Ultimate Kaiser Health Builder ay nakadesign siya na mas maganda pa doon sa HMO na uh, privileges ang makukuha mo. Okay? It allows individuals to save during employment while still being covered by company's health plan. So actually, yung company's health plan, we call that HMO, normally, binibigay yan as a privilege sa atin bilang worker ng company. So binibigyan tayo ng mga employers natin ng short-term health card na tinatawag, HMO. Now, yung HMO na yan, i-cover lang tayo kung tayo, ahabang tayo ay nasa company pa. Okay? Habang tayo ay nagtatrabaho pa sa company. But, ang problem natin, what if ayaw na natin magtrabaho dun sa company na yun? Madadala ba natin yung HMO privilege na binigay ng company sa atin? Di ba? Hindi. And worse, kung nandun man tayo nagtrabaho hanggang sa tumanda tayo, paano kung nag-retire na tayo? Madadala ba natin hanggang sa retirement yung health card? Okay? na binigay sa atin ng company. 
Ang sagot, hindi. Okay? So, ang kinaganda nitong Ultimate Kaiser Health Builder, magkakaroon tayo ng healthcare plan na babayaran natin habang tayo. Ang kinaganda habang tayo ay kinukover pa ng isang plan ng ating company, pwede na natin itong umpisahan. Pwede na natin uh, uh, pag-ipunan ang plan na ito para sakaling wala na tayo sa company natin na pinagtatrabahuan, ito naman ang sasalo sa healthcare needs natin sakaling bawiin na ng mga company natin ang ating mga privilege na HMO. Okay? Now, itong Ultimate Kaiser Health Builder, it GERD to address the long-term healthcare needs of individuals, especially after employment and retirement years. Kasi nga, sabi ko nga, pag nag-retire na tayo at uh, wala na tayong uh, trabaho, yun ang mas kailangan din natin na, mag, kung, na meron tayong health card. Kasi kung pag nagkakasakit tayo, mas lalo tayong magagastusan. Wala na nga tayong trabaho at kung may konti man tayong ipon para na lang sa pagkain natin araw-araw, paano kung nagkakasakit tayo? Yun ang ang huhugot ng malaki-laking budget sa bulsa natin kung wala tayong health card. Okay? Kaya itong Kaiser Ultimate Health Builder ay sasagot no doon sa pangangailangan natin after our employment. So during our retirement years, kung tayo magkasakit doon, ito yung sasagot sa healthcare needs natin. Okay? So thus, this is securing a more comfortable elderly life for us. So paano how it works? Okay? So again, no, paano natin makukuha itong plan na to? <clears throat> Ipapaliwanag ko muna itong IMG and Kaiser partnership. IMG is one okay, of the biggest and fastest growing financial service company now in the Philippines. Okay? IMG assists people who want to help themselves achieve financial security through financial education and building a proper financial foundation. So, nag-a-assist ang IMG, nagbibigay sila ng mga kaalaman paano ma-achieve itong proper financial foundation. So, ang IMG ang nag-e-educate okay, sa mga tao. Matutulungan ang tao paano ma-build ng proper ang financial house niya. Okay? Pero ano ang uh, magagawa ni IMG para itong mga edukasyon na binibigay niya ay ma-apply ng tama. So ang ginawa ni IMG, nag-establish ito ng partnership with the biggest companies in the financial industry. At isa na dito ay yung Kaiser. So IMG and Kaiser is now in partnership. Para after na tinuro ni IMG yung strategy, meron tayong agad-agad na company na ia-apply natin yung lahat ng mga financial strategy na ituturo ni IMG. Okay? So, sa IMG natin natutunan, so ang IMG tinuturo how to build a solid financial foundation. So, kung maalala nyo, ang unang training na binigay natin, how to build, no? Uh, the Building your future. No? Tinuro doon how to build a solid financial foundation. So, balikan natin yon, Di ba nga? Para maging solid yung financial house natin, ang unang itinuro sa atin ay kailangan mag-build tayo from ground up. Okay? So, tinuro sa atin na ma-increase dapat yung cash flow natin so that ma-build natin kung ano yung saktong mga financial um, financial products na dapat na meron tayo na magpapatibay sa bulsa natin, na magpapatibay sa financial house natin. At ang una-una doon ay dapat meron tayong healthcare fund. Okay? Diba? Maalala natin, tinuro sa atin doon na kung wala tayong healthcare fund, kahit meron tayong 100,000, meron tayong 200,000, isang pagkakasakit lang yan. Kung wala tayong health card, mauubos natin yan pag na-hospital tayo. So isang paraan para ma-protect natin yung finances natin ay to get a healthcare fund. Okay? So but Kaiser, itong di-discuss ko sa inyo ngayon, dinidiscuss ko sa inyo ngayon na Kaiser 3-in-1, kaya 3-in-1 because it addresses the financial house, three of the financial house natin na need financial uh, need natin sa financial house. Okay? Una-una, 
we need a healthcare fund, right? So itong Kaiser, nag-a-answer dito sa need natin ng healthcare. Okay? So we got a health card agad pagka meron tayong Kaiser savings na ganito. And we also have insurance. And then we have investment. So Kaiser answers the three major financial needs of this financial house na kailangan i-build natin. Diba? Confused na confused tayo okay? kung saan, anong gagawin natin para maayos natin yung finances natin. Para maiwasang magkaproblema, kailangan sundin natin ang formula in building a solid financial house. Balikan ko, kailangan meron tayong lahat ng yan. Okay? But ang pundasyon dapat ay meron tayong healthcare fund, meron tayong life insurance, meron tayong investment. Okay? Do you need a partner in life and health? Meron na ba tayong sino dito sa atin ang magsasabing kumpleto na siya, enough na ang life insurance niya? At sino sa atin ang magsasabing kumpleto na siya ng savings niya para sa health niya? Okay? Ngayon man siya magkasakit o sa pag-retire niya na o sa pagtanda niya na, kumpleto na siya. Now, if you need a partner, this is the partner. Kaiser. Okay? So, this is a 7-year program, 7-year paying program. We call it 720 because this, ang paying period mo ay 7 years lang. Okay? And then, magmamature siya on the 20th year starting on the first year that do you save. How does it work? So, ganito siya. Pitong taon mo lang siyang pag-iipunan. Then, after ka nag-ipon, Maghihintay ka, so bago ang 20 years, meron kang 13 years na iaantay. Kaya total, 7 years na pag-ipon plus the 13 years na waiting, meron tayong 20 years total para makuha mo na lahat-lahat ng na-accumulate na benefits including all the bonuses. Okay? okay? Let me explain one by one. During accumulation and saving period, di ba, pitong taon lang tayo magbabayad. So, ano yung makukuha natin habang tayo ay nagbabayad since the first day to the seventh year? Ano yung mabe-benefit natin? Una-una, we'll get annual physical exam. Okay? Libre po yan. The, this is to be administered by an accredited clinic. So, yung APE natin, coverage, Annual physical examination, it covers ba the basic five. Okay? Physical examination, chest x-ray, routine fecalysis, routine, uri uh, routine urinalysis, complete blood count. So, yan po yung makukuha natin, maa-avail natin as an annual physical exam. A CG for members above 35 and pap smear for female members above 35 years old or as Required. Okay? So, yan. Pangalawang benefit na makuha natin, dental benefit. ba? So, parang habang nagbabayad ka, meron kang like HMO, yung short-term health card, automatic. Kasi habang nagbabayad ka within 7 years, yung nagagawa sa atin ng short-term health card natin, nagagawa din ng Kaiser Ultimate Health Builder. Okay? So, good for those uh, people already have health card pero paano yung mga wala din, wala din talagang company na hindi inopera ng company nila ng HMO. So this is one of the best kasi kapag nagbabayad ka, you will you can also avail the same benefit, almost all benefit na yung short term HMO is giving. Okay? So number 2, dental benefits, unlimited dental checkups. Okay? Unlimited simple tooth extraction. Kung gusto mo, araw-araw ka magpabunot ng ipin, pwede. Okay? Unlimited eh. Yan. So, once a year, free dental prophylaxis, recementation of jacket, crowns, inlays, onlays, and minor adjustment of denture. So, yun yung sa dental benefit natin na ma makukuha natin. Okay? Next, basic medical benefit. So, this will be from accredited physicians natin and specialists natin. Yung mga fees nila ay uh, malilibre tayo. Okay? Accredited, physician fees, specialist fee, surgeon's fee, anesthesiologist fee, 
Okay? So, operating room, hospital intensive care. So, that is... Uh, these are one of uh, these are the basic medical benefits. Number four, members' choice of room and board up to one thousand pesos per day. So this is depending sa plan na kinuha natin na ayan. So mamimili ka kung sa ang room ka uh, saan gusto na room uh, i i i lalagay. Okay, yearly benefit medical benefit limit of sixty thousand per year. After full payment of the first year of the total premium. Okay, so my yearly med medical benefit limit ka, 60,000 per year. After full payment of the first year. So magagamit mo after nabayaran mo ang whole year. Pag gusto kang magpa-confine, kailangan naka one year muna ang payment mo bago ka, kay bago mo ma-avail -avail ang confinement. Now, the above provisions 1 and 2 and 3 can be availed of after full payment of the first year of the total premium. Okay, so nakuha natin 1, 2, and 3. So, ang number 3, basic medical health benefits. Yung accredited na physicians natin, accredited specialists natin, surgeons, yung anesthesiologists, yung mga fees nila, operating room, hospital intensive care. Okay? So, isa yan, at saka yung 1 and 2, balikan ko lang, yung dental benefits, at saka yung annual physical exam. Maa-avail natin yan kung tayo ay nakabayad na ng first year of the total premium. Okay, so malinaw. Next, we'll proceed to term life insurance coverage. Ito ang maganda. Ha, magsisavings ka para sa healthcare mo. Diba nagtatanong tayo pa paano kung uh, hindi magkakasakit, diretsyong namatay. Okay? Kasi di ba meron talagang mga uh, ganong pangyayari na hindi nagkasakit, namatay. Okay? So ano ang mapupunta sa pamilya? Now, meron tayo itong plan na to, merong term life insurance coverage na included. If the member dies before attaining the age of 75, basta namatay siya na hindi pa umabot yung age niya ng 75 years and prior to this, to this entitlement, to the long-term care benefit as indicated in the schedule of benefit. So, ibig sabihin, hindi niya pa na, nakuha okay? yung mga entitlement niya sa long-term care benefit. Okay? His beneficiary shall be entitled to an amount equal to the sum of long-term care benefit and long-term care bonus upon approval of the claim by the insurance company. Okay? So, kasi meron tayong, no? Ayun na ang kinaganda na merong insurance na nakalakip uh, doon sa plan ng health card na inavail natin. Okay, for example, ang term life insurance will cover us up to the 20th year or until age 75, prior to the age 75, hanggat hindi pa siya nag 75 year old. Okay? So, kung hanggat hindi pa niya na-avail yung uh, walang availment dito, kumbaga, hindi pa na-avail yung life insurance bago mag-75 year old siya o bago siya namatay. Okay? Nang 75 year old. Again, ulitin ko. Ulitin ko para mas malinaw. Okay? Itong term life insurance, pag hindi niya na-avail within 20 years or prior sa death niya, okay? prior sa age niya ng 75 year old, or namatay siya bago siya nag-75 year old. Basta hindi pa niya na-claim dito. Okay? Hindi lumagpas dito sa 20th year. Makaka-avail ng insurance money yung family. Okay? So long-term care benefit na makukuha niya. And then long-term care bonus. So long-term care benefit is 100,000. Yun yung plan. For example, na K100 ang kinuha niya. So ano yung pangalan ng plan? Yun yung exact amount na makuha niya rin dito. And then, long-term care bonus. So, itong bonus is 350,000. Naka-flat na to na makukuha natin. This is around uh, 75% ng lahat ng binayad niya within 7 years. Okay? So, that is all 450,000. Yan ang makuha niya as insurance money. Makukuha ng family yan na maiiwan. Now, Kung mamamatay through accident, madudoble lang po yan. Okay? There is another 450,000 na makukuha si 
uh, beneficiary. Okay? So, total is 900,000. Okay? Yan. So, next. Accidental death and dismemberment. Kung merong mangyari doon sa member, plan holder, directly and independently of all other causes and bodily injury affected solely through external, violent, and accidental mean. Okay? Occurring prior to the member's 75th birthday. Basta hindi pa siya nag 75th birthday. Basta bago siya nag 75 nangyari itong bagay na to sa kanya. And prior to the entitlement, hindi pa lumagpas doon sa 20th year. Okay? So kumbaga within pa sa provision ng 20th year at hindi pa lumagpas siya, hindi pa siya nag birthday ng 75th birthday. Okay? Prior sa 75th birthday which result in any of the specified losses within 180 days after the accident. So, kailangan may 180 days pa na grace period after the accident. Ito yung nangyari. Loss of both hands, loss of both feet, loss of one hand and sight of one eye, loss of one foot and sight of one eye, loss of both sight, Okay? One hand and one foot, nag-partner-partner, no? Both hands, both feet, pero isang hand lang, pero mayroong isang eye. So, puro yan mga 100%. So, tignan nyo kung ano ang mga makukuha ng beneficiaries nyo. Okay? Ano yung makukuha nyo? Okay? Pag sakaling may mangyari na ganyan, within 20 years, or hindi ka pa nag-75 year old. Hindi ka pa nag-75 year old, and within 20 years. Yun ang klaro. Alright? So, yan yung privilege natin. Okay? Next. So, waiver of installment due to death or credit life. Ma-waive yung installment natin pag mamatay. Pero may conditions. Ito. If the member during the accumulation period and before exceeding the age of 75. Sabihin, bago siya nag 75 year old at nandun pa within 20 years, nangyari itong death, okay, the proceeds of the credit life insurance shall be applied to the balance of this contract upon approval of the claim by the insurance company, if any. The difference, if any, shall be paid to the designated beneficiaries. Okay, for example, nagbabayad tayo within 7 years. Ngayon, yung plan holder natin, hindi pa siya lumagpas ng 75 year old. Nandun pa siya. Okay, paying period pa siya. Kaya nga, mawi-wave yung installment kung um, mag-swak sa kanya itong requirements na to. Okay, bago pa siya ng 75 year old, nagbabayad pa. Okay, kung anuman ang mangyari sa kanya, namatay siya, ang makukuha nila sa insurance company pag qualified sila to claim, kung merong outstanding balance, ibabayad doon okay, yung iba sa makukuha sa insurance company. Okay? Kung merong outstanding balance. Kaya nga merong nagko-cover na insurance. Okay? Ang sobra, kung merong sobra, yun ang ibibigay sa beneficiary. Okay? Sobra doon sa insurance na maklaim. Pero kung fully paid na ang plan, wala na kailangan bayaran, lahat ng insurance claims ay mapupunta na sa beneficiaries. Okay? Number nine, waiver of installment and premiums due to total and permanent disability. Mawi waive ang premiums kung total and permanent yung Disability na nangyari. Alimbawa, na-disgust siya, hindi na makapagtrabaho. If the member becomes totally disabled during the accumulation period, ibig sabihin yung binabayaran niya pa lang ito, okay? and on or before his or her 75th birthday, thereby, itong tao na to, hindi nakapagtrabaho, hindi naka-engage in any occupation for compensation or profit, is so disabled for life. And such disability, na-disable siya, 
At yung disability na yon hindi lang 3 months nag-last, hindi 2 months, kundi kailangan dumiretsyo siya ng 6 months. Okay? It continues for at least 6 months. Minimum ng 6 months, hindi siya nakapagtrabaho. Permanently disabled. Kaiser shall waive the may payment of each installment becoming due during the life and such disability. Okay? However, pending approval of the claim, yung installment should be paid as at date called due. Okay? Subject to refund upon approval. So meaning, habang kiniklaim natin, no? Habang nagkiklaim tayo, kasi nga, halimbawang na, na disgrasya, okay? Or na permanently disabled, hindi na makapagtrabaho at 6 months na yon, So, uh, makukonsider na yun na permanently disabled. So, ia-apply natin ang um, ia-apply natin ang waiver of installment kasi ma dapat ma-fully paid siya pero habang pinoprocess pa na ma-approve yung application, dapat binabayaran muna natin yung premium kasi lahat naman ng yon ay i-refund sa atin. Okay? So, yung excess, kumbaga, habang ngayon, halimbawa, two months, two months na pinoprocess ang kanyang claims ng waiver of uh, premiums. So, habang inaantay mo yung approval, hindi pwedeng pabayaan yung plan. Otherwise, maglalak siya. Kailangan bayaran natin. Kasi lahat naman na yun na excess na binayad natin ay makiklaim natin pag na-approve yung ating waiver of installment. Okay? So, next. Family Assistance Service. Ito maganda. Kasi hindi lang ikaw ang pwedeng matuwa sa plan na to. Meron tayong tinatawag na Family Assistance Service. Policy should be active para magamit itong Family Assistance Service and plan should have completed at least one year payment. Klaro? So kailangan nakabayad na tayo ng one year para ma-avail natin itong Family Assistance and the nominated patient must be an immediate family member only of the policyholder or within the first degree of consanguinity. Okay? Policyholder agrees to avail only of the services of Kaiser's accredited doctors only and affi affiliated network of hospitals. Okay? So... Yan yung family assistance natin. Assistance to be provided by Kaiser shall only be to the extent of the allowable benefits due to plan holder under his policy. So kung ano yung program, ano yung kontrata, ano yung plan ng plan holder at magkano lang yung coverage sa plan niya, yun lang din yung doon din ang limit na pwedeng i-allow na benefit doon sa iyong uh, uh, family assistance program. Okay? Prior to the discharge of the nominated patient, payment should have been settled to Kaiser. Okay? So, kailangan magbabayad pa rin tayo. Ang benefit lang natin na meron tayong family assistance is that at least pagka-deliver sa hospital, sa ER pa lang, hindi natin kailangan mag maglagay agad ng malaking fund para magbayad para asikasuhin yung pasyente natin. Okay? So... Pwede natin gawin yan, ipakover muna natin sa Kaiser, pero bago ang discharge, dapat mababayaran natin kung magkano yung uh, bills na accumulate ng patient doon. Okay? Kaiser's approval to avail of such assistance must first be obtained. Kailangan kunin mo muna ang approval ng Kaiser kasi meron silang i-issue na LOA para pirmahan mo yon and Pag na-submit na yun sa Kaiser, pag na-approve na, you can avail this family assistance. Okay? So, kailangan, ayun ang hanapin natin agad yung LOA. Pag okay na si Kaiser, kampanti na tayo na pag-bill out pala, pag labas na lang natin tayo, i-bill out. Okay? Please note that this assistance is an accommodation only and not considered a benefit of the plan. Hence, dahil accommodation lang siya, yung approval and denial on the ailment solely depends on Kaiser management evaluation. Okay? So, magdepende pa rin sa Kaiser kung um, i-cover nila yung ailment ng uh, kapamilya na pinapa-cover pinapa mo dito. Okay? Yan. 
So, meron tayong tinatawag na extended period. Yung extended period is from the 8th year, kasi 7 year ka lang nagbayad, up to the 20th year. That is the extended period. So, ano naman ang maa-avail natin during this period? Okay? So, that is around mga 13 years. Diba? So, 7 years ka nagbayad. Uh, to make it 20, may 13 years tayo na tinatawag natin extended period. Okay? For example, ang plan na kinuha natin ay K100. Okay? So, during the extended period, yung binayad natin, okay, yung plan natin, yung savings natin ay nag-a-accumulate siya ng 10% yearly health benefit. Okay? So, for example, K100, this is 100,000. Yung plan natin, 100,000. Okay? So, meron tayo naka-flat na 10% per year. Okay? Per year yan, up to the 20th year. So, 10,000 on the 8th year. 10,000 on the 9th year, on the 10th year, and onward. Okay? So, 10% naka-flat siya per year. And then, ang kinaganda dyan, itong yearly health benefit natin ay nag-a-accumulate din ng uh, interest. So, accumulated health benefits. For example, on the first year, meron kang 10,000, right? Pero nag-i-interest siya ng 10%. Okay? So, on the second year, Itong 10,000 mo plus another 10,000 on the ninth year, di ba 20,000 na yan? But, bakit naging 21,000 ito? Because your first 10,000 on the first year, okay? After a year, nag-interest na ito ng 10%, that makes 21,000. Okay? So, on the next year, on the 10th uh, year, another 10,000 plus your interest ng 21,000, that makes 33,000. So, that is onward. Right? So, yan yung tinatawag natin na compounding interest. Okay? And then, we also have he yearly health bonus. This is depending on the dividend na i-payout sa atin ng Kaiser. Depende, pag sinabing dividend, depende dyan. Depende yan sa kinikita ng uh, Kaiser. Okay? So, you just need to read your uh, contract na matatanggap Kasi nandun naman siya, naka-explain kung paano natin makuha yung dividends natin. Now, also the dividends, for example, that year, meron kang nakuha ang dividend na 32,981. On the ninth year, okay, bumaba yung profit share natin to 11,793, so 12,000 and onward. So, depende yan. But this yearly health bonus, we call that, okay, nag accumulate din ng interest yan. For example, on the first year, you have 32,981 plus yung on the second year, on the ninth year, ha? on the ninth year, meron kang 11,793. So, ipa-plus yan dito. Plus yung tubo nitong 32,981, that makes 48,072. Okay? Plus another 12,000 and the tubo ng 48,000 48, at ang tubo nito, that makes 64,000. That is onward. Okay? So, everything is compounded. Now, meron kang long-term care benefit upon maturity. Itong plan mo is a money-back guarantee, K100, that makes 100000 for you on the maturity. Okay? And then, long-term care bonus upon maturity if no claim during saving period. Habang nagbabayad ka within 7 years, hindi ka nagpa-confine sa hospital, hindi mo na-claim yung uh, medical benefit doon, meron kang around 350 so, naka-flat na to doon sa uh, plan na kinuha mo kung magkano ang magiging uh, long-term care bonus mo sakaling hindi iningatan mo naman ang health mo within 7 years na nagbabayad ka, hindi mo ginamit ang Kaiser dahil hindi ka na hospital or ang kinaganda dyan kung meron kang short-term health card na binigay ng company, kung if you're working in a, in a company na merong privilege na HMO, Kung meron kayong HMO at nagkasakit ka, talaga within 7 years, yun muna ang ginamit mo. Hindi mo nagamit ang Kaiser plan. So, you're safe. Okay? So, itong bonus na to ay madadagdag sa maturity benefit mo. Okay? So, total, for example, ito yung plan na kinuha mo. Example na to, K100. Ang total is 1.1 million. 1 million, 166,169. Okay? So, basahin natin ito pre-existing medical conditions. 
ano yung pre-existing medical conditions? Those illnesses, injuries considered to be in existence prior to the effective date of the contract. Bago pa man nag-effect yung contract mo dito sa long-term health care, meron na palang na muong sakit dyan. Okay? Nag-exist na yung sakit dyan. That is pre-existing illness na tinatawag. Any professional advice or treatment was given for such illness or condition that is pre-existing. Such illness or, or condition was in any way evident to the member before the effective date, effective, effective date of the contract. Okay? And then the pathogenesis of such illness or condition started whether or not the members is aware of it. Kasi minsan, meron tayo, hindi kasi tayo nagpapacheck up and then, nung kumuha tayo ng healthcare na ganito, na-discover na lang after some time, after six months or after a year, meron pala tayong uh, nagkasakit tayo and then na-discover yan. Actually, ang magsasabi sa atin na pre-existing yan ay ang doctor. Okay? So, malalaman nila mga ilang months na yan dyan or year na nag-accumulate sa katawan mo. So, malalaman dyan na prior pala doon sa pagkuha mo ng contract, may sakit ka na. Okay? So, itong mga pre-existing medical conditions, pag nangyari ito sa atin, this is not covered po sa ating plan. Okay? Nasasagutin ang, hindi po yan, sasagutin ang hospitalization niyan at hindi po tayo uh, makukover doon sa insurance na benefit kung sakaling namatay din tayo through sa sakit na yan. Okay? Clear tayo? Kung na-hospital tayo through sa pre-existing medical conditions na to, hindi din tayo cover doon sa hospitalization. Okay? Na habang binabayaran natin. Now, these are the following illnesses. Okay? Na pre-existing, however, makukover naman ito. Hindi lang makukover within 7 period, makukover siya during extended period. Right? Okay? So, kaya hindi tayo, hindi sasama ang loob natin. Habang nagbabayad lang tayo, paying period, hindi lang siya i-cover. Pero sa extended period, i-cover na siya. So, these are the pre-existing illnesses na i-cover. After paying period, bronchial asthma, PTB, COPD, diabetes, thyroid diseases, system, systemic allergies, hernias, DUB, chronic hemorrhoids, anal fistula, gastric or duodenal ulcers, okay, liver cirrhosis, yan hindi siya i-cover during paying period but during extended period covered na siya. Ganon din ang kidney diseases, blood dyscrasia, immunologic and collagen diseases, endometriosis, so basahin niyo po isa-isa, please, yan. So, malinaw po sa screen yan. Yan yung mga pre-existing illness na i-cover lang siya. I-cover lang po during extended period. Meaning, habang nagbabayad tayo, we cannot use our health card, healthcare savings to this pre-existing illness habang nagbabayad tayo. But after our paying period, extended period, pwede na. Malinaw? So, also the dreaded diseases, Hindi po siya i-cover habang nagbabayad tayo, i-cover lang siya on the extended period. Clear? Ayan. So, pakibasa po isa-isa. May diabetes mellitus and its complications, liver, parenchyma disease, ayan, mga chronic kidney, urological disease, obstructive uropathies. Ayan. Okay? So, isa-isahin po natin ito lahat. Ito yung mga dreaded diseases, mga pre-existing illness, again, na hindi ko cover during paying period. And any other illness that is not mentioned above, that is not self-inflicted, is included. Any other illness that is not mentioned above and is not self-inflicted is included also. Magagamit natin siya during extended period yan. Okay? Now, what is long-term care period? Pag sinabing long-term care period, ito that this makes the Kaiser LTC or long-term care, okay? Three-in-one Kaiser long-term. Why? Meron siyang provision for 20, 21st year onwards, no? Meron siyang 
perks na ganito. Now, long-term care period, di ba nga? Uh, Nag-mature na yung uh, plan natin on the 20th year. You have the option na na makuha ito kasi matured na yan eh. That is all your money but you have options. Okay, meron kang option. Una-una, you can withdraw the entire maturity value. Itong 1,166,169 kung ito yung kinuha mong plan, then you can withdraw all that, all of that on the 20th year, after the 20th year. Okay, so ma-withdraw mo na yan. But another option is you also can withdraw only a portion of the maturity value. You may withdraw only a portion. Okay, kung magkano lang ang gusto mo, let's say, uh, sa 1,166,000, itong 166 lang ang winidraw mo, iniwan, iniwan mo yung 1,000,000 or half of this lang, half ng 1,000,000, okay, half, for example, 500,000 lang ang kinuha mo. Pwedeng ganun, option 2 yun. Okay, pwede rin, ang gagawin mo like, 28th year, if you are age 42, medyo marami ka ng resources din. Marami ka pang resources. Or maybe you're still working. So, pwedeng option mo na hindi mo kukunin siya. Dahil, depende yun sa mindset natin, no? Kasi marami naman sa atin. Like ako, personally, uh, hindi ko siya inisip na kukunin ko siya at this age. Although matured na yung plan ko and magmamature na 2 years from now. I'm not, I'm not planning to withdraw all. Why? Kasi inisip ko siya na ngayon kalakasan ko pa at meron pa akong mga paghuhugutan like may, I have my short term health card magkakasakit man ako ngayon hindi ito ang tatakbuhan ko and I have some resources pa para takbuhan ito but I am preparing this for an old age okay yung retirement years na na maybe na wala na din akong coverage ng health card from IMG okay so hindi na hindi na ako cover doon kung hindi na nila ako i-cover I have this personal health care savings Okay, so pwedeng ang option ko ngayon ay i-retain ko yung maturity value with Kaiser at hayaan ko siyang mag-accumulate ng another ng interest na tuloy-tuloy. Okay, yun kasi ang mangyayari. Tuloy-tuloy siya. For example, pwede naman ang gagawin ko, yung 1 million na maturity, kaya hindi ko siya uh, matured money, hindi ko siya kukunin lahat. Pwede naman ang kunin ko lang ay 10% per year. So parang at age 42, nagpe-pension na ako. Or at age 44, kung 44 nag-mature yan, nagpipension ka na. 45, 50, nagpipension ka lang. So, 10% of this ang kukunin mo per annum. Ikaw na bahala, mag-budget kung kasya na yun sa pangangailangan mo within. Kasi this is a cash claim. So, since cash siya, you can convert actually your money kung saan mo siya pwedeng gastusin. Kung hindi ka naman nagkasakit, this is pasyal mo. Right? O, ba Maganda? Yan. So, Yan yung sample natin. But, pwede din na i-target mo na pati yung interest ayaw kong kunin. Lahat-lahat talaga. Hahayaan ko na lang siya na mag-accumulate ng interest. So, all of those 1.1 million, hindi ko siya kinuha any moment from the maturity, let's say from the 20th year, if my age is 42, in the up to 60 year old, okay? So, kung 60 year old ko siya kukunin, my money would have been, okay, 6.4 million. Aabot ng 6.4 million. So from here, pwede ko nang kunin siguro lahat. O pwede din ulit, interest lang, ulit ang kukunin ko. 10% of the 6 million, 6.4 million is 648,000. Or pwede din na hindi ko na naman siya kukunin. O nakalimutan. Okay, let's say makalimutan mo. Another 5 years, for example, tuloy-tuloy ang interest niya, compounded. So at age 65, meron ka ng 10 million. So 10 million, Yearly na interest niya is 10%, so meron kang 1 million per year. So money is really working for you. Pag nagkasakit ka, palagay mo, that year, pwede na ang 1 million? Maybe. Diba? Kung ingatan mo din yung uh, sarili mo ngayon, pwede hindi ka rin magkasakit that year. Okay? Pwede rin seldom ka magkasakit. So itong 1 million mo, pamigay mo na lang sa apo mo, pamasyal, pangpasyal-pasyal nyo, panigalo mo. O diba, ma maaalala ka ng mga apo mo. Palagi at marami kang apo sa gilid mo kung ganitong meron kang ganyan kalalaking mga pension. Alright? So, naintindihan natin bakit uh, long-term at uh, Kaiser 3-in-1 is called long-term care. Okay? Kasi nga, may pag-asa, uh, merong option. Okay? Merong option na pwede mong iiwan ang pera mo after maturity at hayaan mo lang siyang tumubo ng tumubo and then... Uh, 
nasa iyo na yon let's say 42 kung 45 doon mo kukunin lahat is okay pero ito example lang natin na what if uh, pina inabot siya ng 60 year old ka at saka 65 year old okay for sample purposes lang natin. But again, after maturity, pag naka 28 year na, may option ka na whether withdraw mo lahat ang pera mo or portion of your money only. Alright? Malinaw? Ayan. Okay? So, ang lalaki ng figure. Kaya, masabi natin, this is a good uh, uh, savings program ng healthcare so far. Uh, ako talaga naa-amaze ako dito kasi pwede ko nang gawing one product na nandito na rin yung savings ko, nandito na rin uh, yung para sa health card ko, and then habang pinoprotect ko yung sarili ko, napoprotektahan ko yung family ko dahil may insurance within 20 years. Right? Yan. Kaya isipin na natin kung ano yung magiging decision natin, kung ano talaga ang magandang healthcare na dapat kunin natin. So kasi ang sadya natin, when we grow older, pag hindi na tayo makapagtrabaho, let's say, sa 60 year old, sino pa ba ang taong ganahan magtrabaho niyan? You work because you love to, but you, you work working because you have to, Napaka, di ba? Disastros naman yon So dito, pwede ka namang magtrabaho dahil gusto-gusto mo. Trabahuin mo yung mga bagay na gusto mong trabahuin dahil gusto mo. Okay? Hindi dahil kailangan. Kasi kung ito, kung meron kang pera na ganito, magtatrabaho ka man dahil gusto mo. Trabahuin mo yung mga bagay na gusto mo nalang gawin. Di ba? Hindi na napipilitan kang gawin. Okay? So yan yung money working for us. Okay? Money working for you. In Kaiser Long Term Healthcare, three in one can cater, okay? Can cater that plan, okay? Can help you accumulate such a plan, such a savings, okay? So feel health. Your feel health benefit is integrated with Kaiser, ha? Once admitted, you will be advised to file your feel health reimbursement form. The feel health reimbursement due shall be deducted from the total hospital bills. Okay, unahin muna yung PhilHealth. Kaiser policy holders without PhilHealth membership shall shoulder and pay the corresponding portion of health of PhilHealth. Halimbawa, wala kang PhilHealth at saka hindi ka nakakuha sa PhilHealth. Okay? Basta yung portion na dapat kinover ng PhilHealth ay ibabawas yun ni Kaiser sa babayaran niya. Right? So reinstatement. Paano kung hindi ka nakabayad? Okay, paano kung nagkaroon ng problem, hindi ka nakabayad? Ano paano natin mahabol yung plan natin? Meron tayong tinatawag na reinstatement na update. Pag sinabing update, member will pay the premiums due on all the missed months. So lahat ng mga na-missed mo na months plus yung surcharge noon. Actually, yung surcharge hindi naman malaki, 1.5% lang per month sa due mo. Okay, or 88% per annum from the date of each unpaid installment. So, yan yung update para will sabihin kung mag-mature ang plan mo by, alimbawa, ito, uh, 15, okay, uh, ang due mo, pero hindi mo binayaran, okay, nag-June uh, nag 15, nag-May May 15, uh, May 15, June 15, July 15, okay, so kung gusto mo ma-update pa rin na hindi mauusog yung iyong uh, maturity period, babayaran mo updating, update mo siya, including all the surcharge. Okay? Redate naman, yung member will only pay the premium. Ito maganda to sa mga na, nagipit na nga eh, pero meron akong pambayad ma'am, pero hindi ko mapupul lahat ng months. So isang buwan lang ang pwede kong mabayaran. So you can do that. Ang tawag doon, reinstate na redate. Okay? You will only pay the premium for one month, but the maturity period will be moved. Okay? Yung maturity period. For example, dapat ngayon ka ng May 15, uh, mag ma mature yung plan mo. So since meron kang tatlong buwan na hindi na bayaran at hindi mo in-update yun, mauusog ng tatlong buwan yung maturity ng plan mo. Okay? Ang requirements natin dyan, reinstatement application form. Okay? Update man or redate, mag-reinstate tayo. Okay, may application form na babayaran din natin na 300 pesos yung processing. Okay, klaro? Yan. Reinstatement can be done within two years of the first unpaid due date. Yan. Within two years lang natin gawin yon from the date na hindi tayo nagbayad. Okay? Okay, again, yung reinstatement 
can only be done within two years of the first unpaid due. For example, uh, ngayon, April, for example, April 15. Okay? So, hindi ka na nakabayad dyan, magbilang ka within two years from this date na April 15. Okay? Pwede mo pang gawin ang reinstatement. The member shall be considered a new applicant subject to pre-existing conditions and for purposes of contestability of insurance coverage and to any other requirement for a new applicant for membership in effect of the time. Okay? Kaiser will cancel the contract without need of prior notice, without need of notice to the owner if he fails to reinstate within the prescribed period. Okay? Kung lumagpas ka dyan, sa two years, automatic cancel at hindi na magno-notify si Kaiser na ika-cancel na nila. You should know by your contract and by the day that you apply na yung palugit mo lang para makapag-reinstate ay within two years since the day na naglapse ka. Okay? Since the day na hindi ka nagbayad ng premium mo. All reinstated plan shall be subjected to the new price. Ngayon, ito ang masaklap. Kung binayaran mo within two years, let's say, mga two months pala, nagbayad ka na, three months or mga one year, nagbayad ka na. Pero, during the time na nalapse ka, nagkaroon ng announcement sa Kaiser na meron siyang uh, increase ng premium, madadamay po ang iyong plan kasi during that time, inactive ka. Makukonsider na uh, new yung plan mo doon. So, ma madadamay sa pag-increase yung premium mo. Okay? So, klaro, all reinstated plan shall be subjected to the new price kung merong price increase. Okay? So, clear? Yan. So, cash surrender value. The owner may surrender the contract for its cash value stated in the schedule of benefits provided the plan is active for at least a year. So, alimbawa, naisip mo, ma'am, uh, after two years, ayoko na. Okay, ayoko na talaga, hindi ko na talaga mabayaran for as long as active pa yon at palagay mo, hindi, hindi mo na talaga siya mababayaran, hindi mo na siya makontinue for whatever reason. Okay, pwede mong i-cash surrender value. Okay, so, pero kailangan, ang, bene, ang ano doon, ang requirement doon, at least naka one year ka na bayad. At saka, nung pinoprocess yung cash surrender mo, ay active yung plan mo. So, wala, hindi po pwedeng mag-apply yung inactive ang plan na. Okay? So, habang active yung plan, i-apply na natin for cash surrender value kung gusto mo na isusurrender yung contract mo. Transfer. The owner is allowed to transfer his rights under his contract at any time. Okay? Kailangan lang ng written request, surrender of the agreement, Okay, membership application signed by the transfer, payment of processing fee. But however, I'd like to uh, retract this, no? Um, kasi recently, parang in inayawan na ng uh, uh, insurance commission or SEC na i-effect i i ito. Okay? So, matatransfer mo lang ang plan mo sa beneficiary mo kung sakaling mamamatay. Right? Upgrading of plan. Plan can be upgraded within 30 days after its effectivity day. Okay? Filled out amendment form ang kailangan. Payment of processing fee, 30, 300. Payment of additional installment corresponding to the updated plans. Okay? So, pwede mong gawin yan. Upgrade ka. Imbawa, lower yung napirmahan mo na um, application form. Pero gusto mo siyang i-upgrade. Gusto mo siyang taasan. So, within 30 days, pwede natin magawa yan. Kailangan lang magbayad ng 300 pesos and amendment form. Right? Upgrading mode of payment. Mode of payment can be upgraded anytime after completion of its respective cycle. If within 30 days after purchase. Okay? Filled out amendment form ang kailangan. Payment of additional installment due corresponding to the amount of the upgraded mode of payment. Limbawa, ang monthly mo ay 2.6 pero gusto mo quarterly. And quarterly is around mga 8,000. So kung magkano ang difference, kailangan mabayaran mo yun. Okay? Including the 300 pesos na uh, processing fee plus 
kailangan may form. Okay? Amendment form. Computation of dues based on the desired mode of payment. Yan. Downgrading of plan and mode of payment is not allowed. Pwede ka mag-upgrade, pero hindi ka pwede mag-downgrade. Let's say, naka-quarterly ka, gusto mo i-monthly, hindi pwede. Pero kung monthly, gusto mo i-quarterly, pwede. Okay? Now, age eligibility. 10 to 40 year old. Yan yung 40, K45. Allowed pa siya doon sa lowest plan. 41 to 50 year old. The next plan is K60. And then 51 to 60 year old, K75. Okay? So, 60 year old and 4 months, pwede pa kumuha. Pero 60 year old and 5 months, hindi na po pwedeng kumuha. Kasi uh, considered na siya na 61. Okay, kaya habol-habol sa mga hindi pa nakasecure ng long-term health care. Napaka-importante talagang magkaroon tayo ng long-term health card. Okay, yan yung kasi ang um, puhugot ng pinakamalaking budget natin sa bulsa pag nagkasakit tayo at wala tayong mga health care na masasandalan. Okay, kasi pwede tayong, uh, kumbaga, masasyaking na lang tayo sa bills ng uh, hospital pag wala tayong mga health card, no? Yan. Again, I'd like to remind everyone that building a solid financial foundation needs to follow these building blocks. O, kailangan meron kang building blocks. Okay na to. Kailangan natin, ma-increase talaga yung cash flow natin para ma-fund natin agad okay, yung healthcare natin na kailangan, healthcare savings, and then life insurance, ma-eliminate ma natin yung utang natin. Okay? Magkaroon tayo ng emergency money, and then, of course, magkaroon tayo ng investment. But Kaiser again, Itong Kaiser answers our three major financial needs during productive years. Habang tayo ay nakakatrabaho pa at marami pa tayong kinikita at meron pa tayong coverage ng mga health card sa company natin, ito yung pinakamagandang kunin na uh, healthcare savings dahil ito yung magsasagot sa atin uh, during these productive years din. It is an additional savings natin no, na matatakbuhan natin and then during our retirement years. Now again, Healthcare fund natin dito, beyond age 60, okay, life insurance is within 20 years, and then our money is earning at least 10% per annum, lalo na kung mature na. Ayan. So, ang laking bagay niya na parang magbibigay sa atin ng passive income pagdating ng araw. Okay? So, tapos na ang ating training. I'd like, ah, marami pa natutunan. Okay? Sa so, mga marami pa mga trainings, if, if you want um, to raise your questions, uh, you can PM, you can email us at trainermelody at gmail.com and you can also follow us dito sa YouTube, Final, Financial Educators Magnet, our FB page, Financial Educator Services, and then meron din tayong Instagram, Financial Educator Services. Alright? Kita-kita tayo muli sa next natin na training. See you at the top, guys. Okay, stay healthy. Thank you.